Hey everybody, I'm at Home Depot and I'm about to go succulent shopping, so I want to take you with me, so let's go. Now, if they don't have anything good, I'm not even going to make this into a video, but I'm walking in and they always have an outdoor section, so here's some stuff right here. What do we have? There's some ripple jade, some of that other jade. That stuff's really pretty, so I guess if you needed a lot of color, you could use that. I like this aloe, but I already have some of it. I think it's that Crosby's Prolific. Yep, that's what it is. Crosby's Prolific. Now, these are cool. I'm trying not to get a whole bunch of aloe right now because it's about to get cold. And I don't need any more stuff to pack into the greenhouse. Starfish aloe. Actually, I saw a small one of these that I almost bought the other day. And I didn't know they get kind of leggy like this. But it looks cool, and it's only 9 bucks. And then this is believe just a regular aloe vera and here we have lots of prickly pears and I'm not interested in any of the spikies now hold on this may be is this alligator aloe that is crocodile plant so that's actually kind of cool um uh, anyway so that's what they have out here let's see what they have in there um sometimes they have a lot of stuff sometimes they don't so who knows this could be it but let's go inside Okay, so it looks like they do have quite a few succulents, and let's see, I need a new Dusty Rose, but that one does not look good, and there is a propagation in there, but I'm not going to take it. Let's see here, a lot of regulars, like the Copper Spoons, Flapjacks. I've never been a big fan of these guys, but my mom bought me a purple one a long time ago, and it does grow out of the paint and it made me so many babies it was crazy so anyway i think this is to make them appeal to kids but i mean they're cute let's see there is an agave right there it looks like there's mealybugs all over the top so I might have to be careful with any of the plants i get here i don't really like these grafted cacti but that's kind of cool right there Oh, these are new, and I actually bought one of these the other day. These are called Shooting Stars, so it's a, it's a sedum. Looks kind of like some of the other ones, but see how they kind of tilt down? I already have some, though, so that's why I didn't get it. Now, here's the starfish aloe that I was going to buy. One of these small ones. Or no, that's Starry Night. Never mind. Well, it looks almost the same. I may actually get one of those because those look really cool. These aloes are also really cool. I've got one of these and I don't even know the name of it so it would be nice to know. And of course there's not a name on it. But anyway, I have one of these. It's got the serrated orange on there. If you guys know what it is, let me know. I at once knew the name but not anymore. So, okay, over here we got a lot of cacti. Uh, aloe. All right, so I'm actually seeing more cacti than normal here. Those are pretty cool. What are those called? I'm going to try my very best. Oh, I'm so scared because there's a bunny ear. Oh, I don't want to know. I better not. I'm not even going to try. I don't want to touch any of these things. You guys know how it is. Now, this is really cool. An aloe alligator. It's big. Oh, my gosh. And then look at this giant barrel cactus golden barrel. This thing is huge. What do they go down to? Hardy down to 25 degrees, so they would not do well where I'm at. Here's some baskets of bananas. It's really sad that they put these big echeverias down here because they're stretching out now, so that's sad. Let's go around to the other side. Palm tree. Okay, sorry if I'm moving fast. Okay, over here we've got jades. This is a beautiful aloe. Why do I keep looking at aloes today? Why won't it tell me what they are? Okay, more flapjacks. Let's see, this is cool. It's a crested, is it a crested jade? Echeveria assorted. 
Huh. What is this? It's actually a few of them. All right, now this might be worth buying. I don't know what this thing is. It doesn't even say how much is this. I don't know. I believe this is candy cane crassula. We got some aeonium kiwis. My aeoniums at the house are so sad, but that's because it's been um, super hot and they're dropping a lot of leaves and they do that. They hate our climate, but I'm hoping now that it's starting to get cooler, they will get a little bit happier and oh they will anyway when they're really pretty they look so pretty like this so anyway I'm looking around through here and I don't see any of the little small ones that I just really need I do like these little guys they're called powder puffs but I already have some I just kind of do a quick scan and see if there's anything unusual that I don't have and I don't see anything Although I do want to know what this is. That is an Echeveria Rico. Okay, it's just not reddish yet, but Ricos get red. That is a really pretty double powder puff. Hope I'm right. Yeah, okay, it is a powder puff. Those are so pretty. Wait, what is this thing? That is Pacavaria Cornelius. I don't have that, but I don't know. It's kind of strange looking. So anyway, what else is there? Oh my gosh, a piece of cactus just fell on my foot. That's going to be no good. It'll be a prop for someone later. Okay, we've got some Haworthia. And then I believe this is called Fairy Washboard. I have some of the, yes, I've got a couple of these at the house. They're really cool. But yeah, these Haworthias are pretty neat. I don't know how much they want for them. $4.98, oh my gosh, okay. Well anyway, here we go, here's some more. Let's see, those are cute, the Lilac Mist. This is kind of nice. Oh, I'm so hoping I don't drop anything. Murasaki got some of those it's so hard to put them back in there without smashing anything but you got to be careful looks like they overwater a lot of their plants here oh there's a um, oh satosa okay still I'm not seeing anything that I just have to have although this is a really nice blue heron I actually have a few at the house I need to do some beheading on Oh, a chroma. Okay. It's not really that pretty right now, but I don't see them as often. And it's a little burnt. I don't know if I want to pay $4 for it since I already have one. But anyway, that's pretty much all they have over here. I'm kind of glancing over there. And all these are more houseplant related things. Um, I'll check back in the store and see if they have anything else that I'm missing and I may look around at a couple other places for some sedums but if I don't see anything else I will make this the end of the video so thanks for coming shopping with me and I hope you'll subscribe and if you um, are not yet subscribed then make sure you do because I like to do giveaways and I'm about to get a big order of some rare succulents from Korea and sorry I panned over here but I know you these flowers are fake and really ugly but I sure do love those cacti right there they are really cool um, just pull that ugly flower off so anyway uh, if I can't find anything else I'm gonna make this the end of the video hope you'll subscribe if I'm back in a minute then you'll know I found some more stuff anyway y'all have a great day